international conference held by the Israeli National Institute for Security Studies is celebrating its seventh edition as it focuses this year on the new approaches to the political challenges in the area. Gilad who is the former chief negotiator with the Palestinians on behalf of the Israeli government and today runs the Center for Applied Negotiations within the INSS who organized the conference, wants people to go home from the event with new ideas of how things can be resolved in the Middle East. What we have as an objective is to, um, is to think, to assess, to analyze, and then to produce something that will serve the decision makers. Generally speaking, I never venture to know uh, what a leader thinks or what is his um, um, space for maneuvering. But what I know is that the interests of the state of Israel lie in a very, very clear solution, and that is a solution, maybe not throughout an agreement, of two states for two people, which secure the future of our Zionist vision. Dr. Halil Skakaki, who is the head of the Palestinian Center for Policy and Survey Research, came to the conference to show the Israeli statistical numbers of how the Palestinians feel about the chances of peace with Israel. The numbers in the polls indicate that the Palestinian public is willing to give the current talks a chance, even though the majority in, uh, of the Palestinians do not believe there is a chance for success. They do not blame themselves. They believe they are ready for, uh, for peace and, and, for, and to embrace the efforts to reach one. But they believe that a right-wing government in Israel, the one that currently builds settlements, ca cannot be serious about making peace. The executive director of the Washington Institute for Near East Policy, Dr. Robert Satloff, feels that the U.S. administration has corrected its approach to the Mideast peace process and now there is a much better chance of things actually moving ahead. A couple of years ago. I think that the, uh, the Obama administration has um, improved its approach to Middle East peacemaking. Um, it has corrected some of the mistakes from the early years of the administration. And it now has, I think, a, um, a more intelligent way to, uh, to work with the government of Israel and its local partners. The tactics that uh, Secretary of State has pursued have been um, uh, pretty intelligent and, uh, and really quite creative um, and working much better um, toward a uh, toward an appropriate goal. There is now chaos swirling around Israel, but not chaos in the inner core. In fact, um, Israel, the West Bank, and its Israel's peace partner, Jordan, have been surprisingly quiet and stable amid this turmoil. Um, now, that stability has given an opportunity to promote diplomatic progress. Um, if there weren't stability here, it would not have been possible. Although the INSS is comprised predominantly of retired high-ranked Israeli security officials, it was very noticeable at the conference that it was extremely important for the organization to have a balanced conversation on issues raised with having both sides of the issue speaking out their minds. For Jane One, I'm Ron Jacobson at the Museum of Arts in Tel Aviv.